hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's me leah and i'm so happy always to bring you new content that is being taken place in my business glam by leah lee in pompano beach florida this treatment today is going to be based around helping my client with her acne her hyperpigmentation and overall relaxation hydration and treatment of her skin now i'm so excited to be bringing this video to y'all i have so much going on in my personal life y'all i think i might spill the beans in this video so y'all know what to look forward to in my upcoming content if you are new here and you like what you see please feel free to press the like button hit the subscribe button sit tight and let's get into this video Beginning this facial treatment with the pomegranate antioxidant cleanser. This has aloe, jojoba oil, and this is a very gentle, milky based cleanser. This cleanser does not create that astringent, soapy texture. It just stays nice and calm and hydrating to the skin. So this cleanser I decided to start the treatment with because I see that her skin is drier and you can see that the texture along the bridge of the nose is a little bit different from the texture along the rest of the face. I am going to be working on her decollete area. So this means typically that I'll be using a little bit more product, which is perfectly fine by me. This is not anything that I would upcharge for. I'll be bringing in my sponges to remove this cleanser. Typically, I like to cleanse for about two to three minutes. If it is an exfoliating cleanser, that time can decrease depending on the situation with the client, maybe the client's skin, anything can, you know, either make me feel like I need to use it a little bit longer or a little bit less time. The next cleanser I'm going to start with is the Image Illuma Intense Brightening Exfoliating Cleanser. It has those gentle beads in it that um, dissolve with a little bit of water with that manipulation pressure. I love this cleanser. I brag about this cleanser so often because with personal, for my personal use, I use this cleanser until I don't have the cleanser anymore. And my skin stays so clear, it stays so bright and radiant. I rarely have breakouts. Um, especially when I know I'm on my game with my routine and it helps to sloth off those dead skin cells that lie right on the surface of the skin. Manipulating this cleanser a little bit more with the sponges. This is going to be added exfoliation. So make sure that you are not putting too much pressure behind these sponges because you don't want to irritate the client's skin unnecessarily. Um, we don't want to irritate the skin at all unless we are performing some type of a treatment that can have the side effects of obviously irritating the barrier. Once I have that cleanser nice and removed, I'm going to go in with the Retinol 2% Exfoliating Scrub and it also acts as a mask. This helps to exfoliate while brightening to promote a clear, healthy skin tone. I decided to go with this one, this product specifically because it helps to work into the skin really well without disrupting the skin or making any type of irritations or sensitivities while I'm still going to be having to perform extractions, etc. This helps to resurface and refine the skin and it also helps to brighten. The great thing about this product is that it also provides a chemical and physical exfoliation. Once I have this product removed, I am now going to go in with my Image Skincare Pre-Extraction Emulsion. If you have not heard of this product, this is a professional only product. So you will not see this on the regular Image Skincare website. I absolutely love this product. It has a willow herb extract, which is a rare alpine plant extract that helps to reduce surface sebum and the appearance of the pores. It's also packed with willow bark and tea tree. It helps to soften the pores for extraction and balance blemish prone skin. I let that stay on the skin for about three to five minutes, remove, and then I tone with my cucumber 
Hydrating Toner from Skin Script. During extractions, especially on blemish prone skin, you want to be very mindful about your pressure. You don't want to put so much pressure that you break the skin. Now, for my new Estes, yes, breaking the skin is going to be something that unfortunately will happen because you are learning. So just be mindful of your pressure once again, not to put too much pressure. And when in doubt, you can always use Q-tips. Those are great at preventing you know any added hyperpigmentation that melanin skin is just prone to that's how we heal so just be mindful if it's not something an extraction where you can successfully extract just move on and let your client know once the treatment is finished performing high frequency after extractions is a must before moving on to the rest of the treatment if you have any questions about the treatment and the protocol that I use today, please feel free to always comment down below. If you have any tips or any words of encouragement that can also be left down the, below, what will not be tolerated is any type of mean, slander, hate speech, anything of that sort. I don't really have it too often, but there are times where people like to comment not so nice things. Moving on, I am using a white silk melatonin bucuchiol serum that helps to protect against harmful effects of uv radiation and aids in brightening hyperpigmentation the mask i'm going to be using is the dark chocolate mint mask from skin script i decided to use this mask because after all of that retinol scrub after that cleanser and after that pre-extraction emulsion her skin is very exfoliated so i wanted to help balance the moisture back out and the hydrating balance back out with this mask this mask is super calming it smells so good so it does add to the relaxation and i used my image md eye patches while this mask was sitting A little something different going on my client did get her brows tinted and waxed and that's what I have sped up going on right now I showed the entire process and my client was so so pleased with her brows and that makes me extremely happy the tint that I am using is intensive and I typically just get it from like a local beauty supply store that sells that not like an actual beauty supply store but like a store that sells like professional beauty supplies if that makes sense um so now here i am cleaning up her brow area i did spread this wax out much thinner um but it was off camera just for time's sake i don't i'm pretty sure y'all don't care to really see me thinning out wax um and yeah this is pretty much it if you have any questions about this you know where to leave your questions at Finishing this treatment, I am using the light aloe moisturizer. Due to my client being oily, I do want to be mindful of what products I am going to layer onto her skin. The light aloe moisturizer is extremely popular with my clients that do have oily skin. And living in South Florida, it's really, really hot, like majority of the time. So my clients like something that dries matte, that doesn't leave like a really oily or sticky residue. And this light aloe moisturizer is the perfect product. Once I have that rubbed in, I am going to use my Image Skincare Daily Prevention Matte SPF.
Lastly, I'm applying the Image or Medic Lip Balancing Enhancement Complex. Y'all, when I say some of these names, I have the words all twisted and discombobulated, so I apologize for that. If you enjoyed this video and you have watched it this far, please comment pound Healthy Skin Club. I do have apparel coming soon, so those that are supporting me, I would love for you to purchase a t-shirt or purchase a towel, anything that you think best suits you. And I can't wait to come back and show all of my new content. This is going to be a little bit more personal outside of the treatment room. And I look forward to sharing it all with you guys. See you next time.